Dear viewers, welcome back to our channel. Today we are starting a new series on Vihadaranakya Upanishad. It will be a big series, so keep your enthusiasm high always. As this is the first episode, we'll start with a small introduction, then chant a peace invocation mantra and understand that mantra. Before we begin, I recommend you to watch the previous series on Isha Upanishad to unveil the secrets of self. Links to those playlists and videos are given at the top right corner of the screen. Briyadaranaka, the name suggests itself, is a big revelation. In reality, this is the biggest and oldest Upanishad. According to scholars, this Upanishad was composed during 9th century BC to 5th century BC. But no one knows the exact timeline. This is a principal Upanishad and part of Shukla Yajurveda. This Upanishad largely talks about the creation of this universe, Brahman, and gives us one Mahavakya or big statement, and that is Aham Brahmasmi, meaning I am Brahman. As this Upanishad is very old, it shows many social aspects, beliefs of that era. For the modern people, when the world has become so biased, may just the scripture based on modern principles without any consideration. In that period, some intelligent people on the planet were trying to understand complex topics like creation of the universe. That is incredible. Many times, direct translation will misguide the viewers. Hence, we will do a logical interpretation according to modern times. Now the time has come to chant the peace invocation mantra. You can recite with me. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnamevavashishyate Om Shanti 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 Translation in English Om That Brahman is infinite This universe is also infinite That Brahman remains infinite Though this universe originated from that Brahman Knowing this truth and realizing the infinitude of that Brahman This self becomes infinite Om Peace Peace, peace. This one mantra summarized everything which will be discussed in upcoming shlokas. This is a powerful mantra. Realizing only this mantra can liberate you. Let me explain to you. With a life event for everyone, a mother gives birth to a child after carrying the womb for nine months with her. After the painful process of birth, the baby sees the world for the first time and cries. Once the baby receives the mother's touch, she feels safe and stops crying. The mother and the baby in her womb is one entity, but after delivery, they are two entities. Mother doesn't die after delivery, nor the baby. Mother did not lose any parts of body after birth, nor did the baby. The baby was living in the womb by taking mother's food. After birth, the baby can breathe independently. But once she understands the beautiful lady is a mother, she stops crying and starts playing with her mother. Same way, Brahman and the universe were one entity before the birth of the universe. Brahman is self-competent to give birth to the universe. Brahman is infinite because it is endless and beginningless. It was there before this universe. It will be there after this universe. The universe started from the primordial source of compressed energy as we know from Big Bang Theory. From then, this universe is expanding and we are seeing in the current shape. The universe is so huge 
we don't know where it ends. Because of our limitation, we can know till one boundary. But the universe is larger than the observable universe. Because of this reason, the universe is also infinite. If the universe is the effect, then Brahman is the reason and even root cause of all existence. Does that mean after giving birth to this universe, Brahman lost any power? No, Brahman is beyond anything, any effect, the universe and even imagination. It is an infinite source of consciousness. It is self-competent, transcendent and self-existent. It is spreaded everywhere and in everything. It can give birth to millions of universe if it thinks because it is the seed of everything. O is the sound, name and symbol to denote Brahman. Any shlok started with Om becomes a mantra and it is believed a mantra has power to change life, whatever it is. For me, any mantra can change life when we can experience it and apply in our daily life. Knowing and realizing this truth, a common person can experience Brahman and can connect that infinite source of consciousness. From that point of time, the person becomes liberated and sees Brahman in everything. That seer of oneness doesn't feel hatred for anyone. Delusion and sorrow cannot touch that person. This knowledge removes ignorance from mind. Let the mind be in peace now. Let the peace be spreaded among all and let the peace prevail in this universe. That infinite knowledge is the only goal of human life. This mantra carries a message for all hate mongers that when everything started from the same source, why are you dividing and spreading hatred? This can be used in meditation to remove depression, impurities, negative thoughts and negative emotions. The mantra spreads peace and love to everyone. My message to everyone, don't waste your precious life and start the journey of wisdom right now. Be enlightened and spread peace and love among us all. Dear viewers, be with us in this journey of Universal Vedanta Movement. Do not forget to share this video with your friends and families. Like the video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. Press the bell icon so that as and when any new session or video is released, you will get notified. If you have any question or want to share your thoughts, use the comment section for that. You may want to follow us on WhatsApp channel. Facebook, Instagram, X and Co. Links and QR codes are given on the screen. Thank you and have a great day. We'll see you soon in the next video.